Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Hello everyone, it's NLW here, back again with another video, and this is the first in a brand new series of me and Spam Wrestling's fantasy figure, GM Mode. If you haven't watched the draft that we did yet, go and check that out, but just a quick rundown of what this series will be. First of all, Spam Wrestling and I will be going head to head in a SmackDown vs Raw battle. Spam represents SmackDown, I represent Raw. Each of us pick 20 wrestlers from the Ruthless Aggression Era. The only catch is that we must use Jack's figures. Now, we have to book our own Smackdowns and Raws, and it will be five matches and two promo segments. And while we are booking our own shows, the outcomes of those matches will be randomly generated for an added wildcard factor, which means if I want to book somebody to be the world champion, then they must win the random generated match to do so. And it could be quite interesting throwing things in for a loop, but we will see. Spam will be booking his own SmackDown show, so go and subscribe to him if you haven't already. The link will be in the description. For now, it's time for my show. It's Monday Night Raw. We got JR and the King at ringside, so let's just get straight into the action. So to kick off the show, we're going to have Mr. Kennedy at ringside because he's going to be competing on the next episode in the Intercontinental Title Tournament. In fact, the match that is opening the show will be the first match in a tournament to crown an Intercontinental Champion. We got Bobby Lashley going one-on-one -on -one with Carlito. Lashley is the powerhouse in this one. He is the face, Carlito the heel. He will try and take advantage of anything he can. Flashley looks to have Carlito beaten. However, as you know, the matches outcomes must be randomly generated. Therefore, the generator says that Carlito is going to win this one. And the way I've said he's going to win, Kennedy's going to trip up Lashley while the referee is distracted, allowing Carlito to sneak a roll up victory and Carlito advances in the Intercontinental title tournament, much to the chagrin of Lashley, setting up a feud with Kennedy there. Next up, we got a special hardcore match with Sabu going up against Finley. I wanted to add a little bit of variety to my first show, hence the no DQ stip. Finley will attack Sabu before the bell rings and hit a suplex on the ramp. Finley is a brawler, but Sabu will use the chair to his advantage, hits an Arabian moonsault for a close two count. Ultimately, Sabu will take one risk too many, coming off the top rope for a leg drop through a table that misses, and that allows Finley to pick up the victory with a Celtic cross on the stairs on the outside. And again, like I said before, the outcomes are randomly generated. Personally, probably would have had Sabu win, but that's not going to be a case because of the generator. Now, my first promo segment of the evening. Like I said earlier, we're going to have the general manager mode format, so five matches with two promo segments cutting in between. For my first promo segment, I've chosen a special highlight reel, Chris Jericho hosting, and his guest is an up-and-coming star on Raw, Johnny Nitro. Nitro is the heel. He's complaining that Jericho didn't give him the red carpet treatment, really hamming it over that he's a bad guy and he should be treated with more respect than he is. Jericho, of course, going to come back with some jokes, cracking some wit as face Jericho tends to do. But one insult too many costs Jericho as from behind, he is assaulted by The Miz. They hit a snapshot onto Jericho. And at this time, I am planting seeds for my tag division. I've got the World Tag Team titles over on Raw. And I'm planning on having Johnny Nitro in there, teaming up to potentially win those titles with The Miz. But again, can't make that decision. Has to be random outcome. Match number three sees Umaga with his manager Armando Alejandro Estrada going one on one with the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. The idea behind this one was that I wanted Mysterio to be this plucky underdog against the monster Umaga. Now, if I wanted to have Umaga go on an undefeated streak, I can't do that, going back to the random outcome thing. So, Mysterio could very well pull off an upset. He tries to hit him with a drop kick doesn't phase Umaga. Umaga's using his power to his advantage. Ray has to duck and dodge to get out of the way, and he does, missing the backside in the corner, hitting a 619, but when he goes for the springboard maneuver, he gets caught out with a Samoan spike, and that allows Umaga to pick up the victory. Following the match, Armando Estrada is stopping the referee from helping Ray, and boom, Umaga trying to attack when outcome Los Guerreros to save Mysterio from a beatdown. Mysterio saved by the Guerreros, again planting seeds for a tag team in the tag division. Ostrada has to hold back Umaga from attacking them. So will we see that play into later tonight? We will see. Match number four is the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, going up against the Radar Superstar Edge. I feel these two could switch between the mid card and the main event, depending on who the champions are. 
Edge is a crafty heel. He'll try and use any advantage he can. Jeff Hardy will come back with high flying offense, hitting a crossbody over the top rope to the floor. Ultimately, Jeff hits the twist of fate and then the Swanton misses. That allows Edge to hit the spear, then get the clean. One, two, three. Edge is your winner. Now, against my earlier point, I can't decide the outcomes of these matches. Probably wouldn't have had four heels winning in a row. However, that is the wild card factor that the randomized matches brings up. It means none of us has really a particular advantage, keeps things fresh on the shows, and means we have to constantly keep thinking about booking the shows. For my second promo segment of the evening, I'm going to have Raven sitting in the crowd watching Jeff Hardy, potentially setting up a feud. There, he cuts a promo on Jeff Hardy and the rest of the roster. Quote the Raven, nevermore. Raven, I hope, is going to be a key character on my show. Now we move on to the main event of my first ever Raw show. The top four contenders vying for the World Heavyweight Championship in a fatal four-way. We have Batista, Shawn Michaels, Eddie Guerrero, and Randy Orton. Right off the bat in this main event matchup, a shocking start as Shawn Michaels super kicks Batista out of the ring, shocking everyone in the crowd and ensuring that the main event is going to be a chaotic one. Eddie and Shawn then team up on Orton, Eddie hitting the three amigos onto Orton, followed up with an elbow drop from the top. Then we're going to tease a few for the future perhaps with Shawn Michaels and Eddie Guerrero, but we didn't get it in real life, unfortunately, hopefully, perhaps get it in this fed, huh? Maybe. Although the tease is ruined when Batista puts a stop to it, spearing Shawn Michaels getting revenge for the super kick earlier. It's a big time Tower of Doom spot. Everyone's down. They're all trading maneuvers. Orton then singles out Eddie Guerrero, hitting a DDT on the concrete floor. Then we have former Evolution teammates teaming up as Batista hits a Batista bomb to Eddie Guerrero into an RKO through the announce table, which leaves Latino Heat incapacitated for the moment. Batista and Orton go back in the ring to fight alone. For a while, Orton hits an RKO, but at the exact same time, Shawn Michaels hits the super kicker onto Orton. It looks as though he's going to become the champion, but Eddie Guerrero's there to break up the pin, hitting the frog splash on HBK in the nick of time. Although he almost wins the title, Orton manages to recover, hitting an RKO on Eddie before he can score the pin. And as Orton tries to crawl over to the cover, Batista's there to break it up. Hit a Batista bomb. No one's around to break it up. Gets the one, two, three. And Batista is the first world heavyweight champion on my show. We close out with celebrations of the animal. With his newly won title, Batista is the champion on Raw. He is the main guy. Everyone is now gunning for the animal. Then we fade to black. And that is my first Raw show. Now, I have to say, the random outcome thing may have thrown my plans in a loop for a bit, but it keeps me on my toes with booking, which makes it a lot more fun, kind of like the GM mode that we're basing this series on. Now, guys, I would encourage you to go over to Spam Wrestling's channel right now and watch his SmackDown show, what the match outcomes are on his show, and let us know down below, comment below, what you think was the better show. Also, comment what matches you would have made if you were in my position with the roster. Again, let me know in the comments. Please like this video as well if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Go into the description, subscribe to Spam Wrestling, check out his PickFed and his SmackDown show as well. Thank you for watching. Join me next time for the next episode of Raw and I will catch you guys later.